With a little help from our good friend Albert, today we're going to be going over Lesson 10, Ultrasonic Sensor. In this module, we'll be needing the Mega 25-6 R3, our ultrasonic sensor, and four F to M wires. Let's dive in. The lesson plan begins by giving us a couple of use cases for the ultrasonic sensor, such as projects that involve measuring distances and avoiding objects. It then introduces us to the HCSR04, which is the ultrasonic sensor we'll be using for the project. It first gives us the non-contact measurement function range of 2 cm to 400 cm. It also states the ranging accuracy can reach 3 mm. It then extensively goes over a very confusing set of basic principles. But in layman terms, the module sends out three pulses, a trigger signal, a eight cycle sonic burst, and a echo signal. Depending on the time interval in which the echo takes to get back, it calculates a very confusing formula that will give us a distance measurement from an object in its vicinity. And this is a diagram of how the sensor works. The connection schematic shows us utilizing the DL PWM, the D12 PWM, the 5 volt and ground pin connectors. The D12 PWM controls the trigger signal, the DL PWM controls the echo signal, the 5 volt provides the sensor with power, and the ground connector connects it to ground. Now, for the code itself, we'll be importing the sr04.h library. To do that, we're going to click sketch, include library, add.zip library. We're going to find our master folder. Elego, yep, the most complete starter kit, English code, lesson 10. And then we're going to click hcsr04 open. I've already done it. I don't want to mess it up. Moving forward, we'll be defining trigger pin as PWM12. We'll be defining echo pin as PWM11. It then defines SR04 to equal echo pin followed by trigger pin. And then long A implicates that integer A is sending information in at least 32 bit segments. Now, void setup sets up serial.begin which is telling serial monitor we'll be sending information to it at a frequency of 9,600 bits a second with a delay of one second intervals. Void loop is the last piece of the puzzle. A equals SR04.distance is telling SR04 to give us the measurement for measuring our trigger and echo point. Serial.printA is ensuring that we print our measurement to the serial monitor in 32-bit segments at the least. Serial.println uh, centimeter sends the information in a new line every time, and in between that, there's a delay of one second before printing that new information to the serial monitor. Okay, with that out of the way, let's build it. By the way, with the way the project works, I can't show you the measurements from the serial monitor while accurately showcasing the Mega 2560, so I decided to throw in what it looks like when I have a display attached to the project itself as well. Mm -hmm. 